Hi, welcome to the Market Alert for Monday, the 2nd of October 2023. So the Fed's uh, last hike triggers quarter three carnage. Uh, traders sell all the things in September. Everything pivoted around the Fed's last rate hike. So uh, that seems to be what the news is. S, uh, S&P 500 marks the largest quarterly decline in a year as Treasury uh, bulls struggle. And more economic news uh, today. We've got uh, ISM, ISM manufacturing, and then we've got uh, Powell speaking at four. And Harker is also uh, following. And what else have we got this week? Let's have a, a look. See what we've got. Uh, it's a holiday tomorrow in Germany. So watch the spreads on the uh, trading. Jolts openings on Tuesday as well. Wednesday, uh, Lagarde speaking again. Uh, blimey, she's busy at the moment. She's out first thing in the morning and at um, 5 p.m. as well. OPEC meeting, uh, ADP numbers and ISM. So if we've got ADP, that means that we've got the uh, non-farm in the week and we have, yeah, non- uh, non-farm are out on Friday. So the market's going to be uh, looking for those to take some sort of direction, depending on what Powell says uh, later today. And also, of course, uh, Lagarde on uh, Wednesday. Okay, let's move on. Have a look at the markets. It was utter carnage uh, is the only way to describe it. So uh, let's kick off with the Dow. And in the Dow, uh, we can see that uh, the market uh, was sideways to lower. You can see there, tried to move high, got stopped by the 200 MA in the daily chart. At the moment, it's sort of uh, around the DP. So 30 minute charts so uh, you can see there we managed to move up and then again that pattern for all of uh, last week was to sell off in the Dow bounce on the overnight uh, so let's see what happens today we're above the DP at the moment and uh, holding there we've got the high uh, not too far above uh, but uh, certainly volatility returned with some of vengeance on uh, Friday uh, or during Friday's trading session that's for sure. In the German DAX, the market trading up to the 89% retracement in the daily chart on Friday, and then it's down on the overnight as well. Not too dissimilar from the Dow, again, just above the DP overnight, as you can see there. Uh, it was all the way up on Friday, but as soon as uh, the US started to sell off at uh, about 330 the German DAX followed suit and came all the way back down. So again, we're sort of in between at the moment, uh, both the high and the low. So the market will have to decide when it opens at uh, eight. But at the moment, uh, just above the uh, 50 EMA there as well. In the S&P 500, very much uh, the same as we've seen in uh, the DAX and the Dow. As you see there, we were just sort of sideways. We're above the five bar moving average at the moment. And then again, up 3.30, down, up on the overnight above the DB, and that sitting at uh, the 50 EMA, high, low, more or less equidistant in points there. In the FT100, well, this is looking better than the rest at the moment, but it did uh, also uh, succumb to selling at the 89% retracement during Friday. Markets below the 200 MA now in the daily chart as well, which should, uh, in theory, bring some sort of weakness, but the market uh, holding at the moment. Uh, prices uh, also uh, being held by the 5 MA as well. 30 minute chart, again, it's exactly the same as uh, the others, all coming down during Friday and overnight sitting on the DP there. So there you can see uh, you've got the high up here, we've got the low down here, we're sitting on the DP, it needs to hold, if not, uh, then the market is likely to move lower. In the US dollar, continuing to move higher, it's having huge impact on the metals. As I said before, we're going down to $20 and below. I've actually changed the forecast and I'll show you exactly why. I think we're going sub 20, back down to about $17. Uh, there you can see still moving up sharply for this uh, instrument. Uh, so the US dollar, I don't know why there is a flight to so-called quality when it's only worth 90, well, it's worth about 3% of what it was worth in 1972. But there you go. It's still the, the world reserve currency. And I suppose that's uh, what's uh, holding it at uh, this time. So in the metals, I don't know what this spike up was on Friday, but it seemed to affect all markets. Um, it's a genuine move, but I can't find any news behind it. Just a basic manipulation, I suspect. Market through the 2207, and we're going all the way down 
to $17.50. We'll just wait. We'll just go straight through this lot and make our way down now. Um, it's just it's just over on the upside for the time being. As uh, we can see there, even the weekly chart now is breaking out of its sideways so move. And uh, the monthly too, you can see how choppy it's been for a while uh, since 2020. And now it's just a matter of uh, sending the market back down to uh, these levels. This is going to be even lower. Uh, well, 1750, that's the one from the weekly chart. And then uh, you've got the one down here if uh, we get down to it, uh, which wouldn't surprise me to be perfectly honest with you, 1156. Uh, that's how bad I believe that the manipulation is now in this market and how it's going to be used to uh, drive these prices down to these ridiculous levels. That's right, it didn't go down to 13, it went down to 1156. I bought it when it was 13. Uh, that's uh, yeah I forgot about that so yeah I was hoping it was going to go down to eight because uh, back in the chart here silver actually went down to eight dollars um, whether it's going to go that far I don't I doubt it but um, certainly keep an eye on these two sets of numbers because we've been there before so we're likely to go there once more gold also uh, under attack as you can see there in the 30 minute chart uh, in the daily chart and the 30 minute chart absolute uh, monkey hammering and it's already below the close the central banks are buying more gold than they've ever done since 2010 the best way to do it is to uh, use the derivatives to crush the price and the wholesale market becomes a lot cheaper and that's uh, again they're implicated in the manipulation of uh, of these moves at the moment just so that the central banks can buy more uh, cheap gold and uh, silver Okay, let's uh, move on and uh, finish off with uh, a look at uh, the gold silver ratio. So there, that's uh, something you don't see very often. A slam down to 80, back up to 83, and now 84. As I've said before, we're going all the way on this. We're going all the way back up to uh, these uh, sorts of highs, if not beyond. In fact, let's go back uh, a bit further. Let's have a look at the monthly chart because we want to look at the 2020 level so we're going back up to this sort of area aren't we around the 130 you can see what's brewing here uh, with the suppression of the uh, silver price so don't be surprised if we go back up to uh, 126 wouldn't surprise me in the slightest i have to say so uh, you know 30 years of looking at this buying silver trading silver it's just uh, it, the good thing about it is you can make a lot of money on the short side because they're not going to let it go up you just wait for it to rally to 25, sell it, and then wait for it to keep coming down. It's um, as simple as that. Okay, that'll do it for this one. If there is anything else uh, happening that comes out of nowhere, I will let you know. But otherwise, uh, as ever, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.